Hello and welcome to Pro Trader Strategies Market Commentary. I'm Eric Wilkinson and you very well may recognize me as the Wolfman from mainstream media where I've talked about the economic data, the geopolitical environment, and how that comes in to impact the markets with some of my market analysis. And I'm going to do the same thing for you folks in these market commentaries, but I'm going to go a little bit further and talk about option strategies that I've been implementing in my portfolio for the last maybe 30 years or so. And for you, what I've done over that 30 years of period, streamline the process to find the optimal strategy for any given assumption. Yeah, when we're going through the charts, we can find an assumption, directional, bullish, bearish, however that may be, even market neutral, uh, which we'll be talking about today in the webinar. But I've streamlined that process. We look at what's going on around that underlying that we have a directional assumption and that leads us to the optimal option strategy for any given assumption. And I'm not just talking about a bullish assumption and we go out and buy calls or a bearish assumption we're worried about the downside we buy puts. It's not uh, as cut and dry as that. What we're trying to do is look at how the volatility is affecting our premiums and that will lead us to know whether those premiums are expensive or cheap. Thus, the final option strategy that will be most appropriate for that assumption. So please check out the webinars. Maybe a little bit brushed by or brushed over it a little bit quickly here. Maybe sound a little confusing, but I assure you, you check out those webinars and we break it down to remedial uh, bite-sized pieces for you all to understand and be able to implement these going forward. All right, so without further ado, we usually talk about economic data. Well, it's a bank holiday here in the United States. It's Christmas Eve, not a lot going on. Markets are gonna be closing relatively early today. So uh, just kind of sitting on my hands today, but I did tweet out yesterday what I was doing and I added some Walmart to my overall portfolio. And we'll talk about that here in a moment, but let's get through the charts and see what's going on because we don't have any economic data we don't have any real geopolitical maybe a little geopolitical in the form of well it doesn't look like that stimulus package is going to get through uh trump wants us to spend more money on some of these stimulus packages yes a lot of people are tweeting out stuff like all this money is going to foreign governments and stuff like that that really isn't part of the covid package but remember we were getting ready to have a government shutdown and they had to come up with something in order to keep the government open. Well, part of that is the 2021 budget, which is what a lot of people are talking about, how there is all of that in there and maybe not the best time to be doing something like that. Anyway, let's look at crude oil coming off of be at only 14 cents today. Yesterday, we did get a rally back above this nine day simple moving average. That is going to show us some strength over the near term. But uh, I've talked about this time and time again. I just do not see us being able to withstand or sustain a $50 handle in crude oil. Prices are starting to go up at the pump. That uh, decreases spending elsewhere in the economy, which is something we wanna see. We already saw yesterday a pullback in spending uh, in the economic data points yesterday. Well, that will be even further slowed. I mean, yes, this is gonna show up in some spending here as people have to buy gas, but it's not going to be distributed throughout the economy in other ways, which creates that velocity of money I talk about, which is desperately needed right now. Um, all right, we've got gold moving a little bit higher uh, today, back into this little uh, flagging area. That's going to kind of calm us down a little bit. I do uh, kind of expect us to start creeping a little bit higher and back into the 1900 handle here in gold, especially uh, with a stimulus package, almost imminent, if you will. They want to get that out by the end of the year. All right, so uh, bonds are creeping a little higher. That's indication interest rates are going to start low, going lower a little bit. It's finding a real comfort zone here, building up a big volume node here where time, uh, time is just a little bit higher, but volume really picking up in and around this 173, 174 handle. We, I'm you know, was expecting us to trade back up into the 177 to 178 handles, which would mean interest rates would start going back down again. Mm, it's really getting comfortable right here. So this might be the new uh, 
the new normal here, right here at around 173, which isn't terrible. But uh, again, I would like to see interest rates come down a little bit more. That encourages people to spend elsewhere. All right, VIX moving a little bit lower as equities are still near their all-time highs. No real correction. Yesterday was only really a, a move to the upside. Today, it's an inside day. And yes, the candles look negative. The, we look like we are in negative territory. But at the end of it all, we are pretty much in line with where we were yesterday, the day before, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, so we can see the NASDAQ is up uh, 23 on the day, but just barely. E-mini S&P is up, but only a couple of points that can change in a matter of moments. I don't expect anything to really change today. I think it's going to be really quiet. You can see we've gotten this back and forth move where it's the winding up of the rubber band however you want to think about it we get a couple of snaps here and there but just nothing really breaking out in either direction at this point but that is sure to happen uh the longer this winds up tighter it's built up energy and wants to move in one direction or the other but today and heading into the rest of uh, maybe even next week i don't really think we're going to see that happen because why it's just holidays people are going to be seeing volumes really you know fall off the face of the earth really for a while here probably unless something really crazy happens but for the most part i would expect us to start seeing volumes start to dwindle as most people have put their hedges on and are ready to go uh into the new year but you can see inside day nothing really going on and the only thing that i've done was in walmart and i added um some long calls to this strategy. You can see I've gotten the directionality a little bit wrong. I originally did the March and bought the 155 calls in there for uh, right around, um, what was it, $4.95. Uh, calls was $4.95. And then yesterday I went in and bought the 150 calls in there for uh, $4.55. Just added really small to that position. Why? Because if you look at this chart setup, we got. A, I thought we were going to hold on at least above that 50-day. We kind of broken down just a little bit, but yesterday we created a nice real bottom pattern here. The market sold off, created a nice uh, hangman doji at the bottom here, and a bit of a confirmation to the upside. Obviously, I didn't wait for the conversation or the confirmation, but today getting a little bit of that confirmation. Uh, and making it look like we're going to move to the upside. Now, uh, having said that, any break below this chart pattern at this point, I'm going to pull the ripcord on this trade. I believe that we're going to start migrating back. We have already seen it in Target. There's, they've made a big move to the upside yesterday while Walmart was pulling back, but I think that Walmart is going to do very well uh, this holiday season as, um, as well at least as Target because I think people are buying groceries there and everything else as well. All right, so that's all I've done so far. I'm going to try and play it a little bit quiet today uh, as we're moving on. Uh, probably not going to do anything uh, except keep an eye on this. And get ready for that webinar on the broken wing called a butterfly. If you want to check out a strategy where we've manipulated it a little bit, we're going to show you how to create the broken wing called butterfly, which will eliminate any risk to the up, or sorry, any risk to the downside whatsoever. And so I'll show you how to build that out properly in this webinar according to these guidelines that we've set up that I mentioned at the beginning there of the webinar. So please take a moment to go over our disclaimer as we're an educational company and there are risks to trading. All right, so have a Merry Christmas. Everybody stay safe. See you next week. And if you can't take that, take it easy.